Yeah, it's been quite a while since I've done a video. Uh, I thought I would just go ahead and just uh, do this one today. It's going to be a short one. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's time to stop. I think it's time to stop doing videos for I don't know how long, if not forever. I don't see the point in it anymore. And one of the problems that I have with doing videos about my life here in Ecuador is... Is I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. If I tell you how I feel about life here, I, if I tell the truth about how it's impacting me and what it's meant for me, then I get chastised by professionals around here telling me that I'm causing them business the realtors cry that you know nobody will want to come here as if i had thousands and thousands and thousands of years you know like uh, the famous amelia and jp uh i don't have the huge following i don't think that my channel has that much of an impact on life in ecuador for other people and business in ecuador I don't think it has anything to do with it. People are going to make their own decisions without influence from me. If I say it's rainbows and unicorns, and then you come here and you're not happy with it, then I'm the bad person. So <clears throat> this is something that I've been struggling with for several months now. And... Uh, I think it's just time to stop because I'm not really helping anybody. Uh, people still come here, do the same stupid, dumb things that we tell you not to do, and they end up going back home with their tail ducked between their legs and, you know, blaming it on everybody except themselves. I did probably about 360 videos in the time that I've been here. Uh, there's been a few that I've removed uh, for various reasons, both personal and professionally. And but the I'm, I'm not going to take the channel away. I'm going to leave it on YouTube. I'm just not going to contribute any more to it unless somebody has specific questions that they want to ask you can ask them in the comment section um, I, I <clears throat> if you look in the description of this channel you'll see that there's a link to a spreadsheet that I created that I shared it's on Google Sheets and it's basically it's an index of 99.9% of all the videos that I produced in the last three years that I've been here. Some of the videos, some of the links that you'll see uh, in the spreadsheet, you'll see a little tick mark in the corner. That means that there's a note there. If you move your mouse over it, you can it'll expand the box and there'll be some information that maybe I think is pertinent. Maybe I'll go through some of these and add more notes, but if just about anything that you want to know about as far as re moving to Ecuador and retiring here as an expat, whether it's from North America or Australia or wherever, you can probably find some fairly close answers to what you're looking for uh, on my channel. Some of the stuff may be out of date, but always feel free to write to me. I put my email address right here that everybody is welcome to to use it's don at dshader.com uh, that's not my normal primary email account uh, for personal reasons I'm not, I'm not going to give that out anymore but this one this don at dshader.com that's uh, that's on my domain and I, hell if I'd if I get tired of it, I can get rid of it easily and not 
won't cost me anything. It's basically used strictly for this channel and that's it. But feel free to write if you have questions about anything. For those of you that are new here, that you just happen to stumble across this particular video here, uh, maybe one of these days if things turn around here, and there comes the trash truck. I'll be right back. Okay, he's almost down at the end of the street now. Uh, that's the backup warning for the trash truck. You get to hear that every day. Uh, so, that's really about it. I don't really have a whole lot more to add other than the fact that uh, I'm, I'm still here. I plan to stay here at least until the end of the year and then I'll make a decision uh, as to whether I want to explore other options and go somewhere else or even go back home, go back to the United States. Uh, folks, don't get on, don't, don't go in the comment section and tell me, you know, what I do or don't want to do. You know, it's, it's whatever I do is my decision. I'm old enough to make up my own choices. I don't think that, you know, one place is any, well, one thing that I've learned about living in Ecuador is that you have the, the same uh, corruption here, the same bad policing, the lawless society, uh, rude, crude, violent people in a lot of ways here as you do in the United States. Only it's cheaper here. It's cheap. It's cheap to live here. It's about the only thing that I can say at this point that's really great about living here. So I wish you all the best of luck. If you happen to come by and see me at the breakfast table at my spot, feel free to stop by and say hello. And uh, if you need any help with anything, I, I'm willing to help you. So, uh, but as far as doing this channel, uh, I think it's time to quit. Okay, have a good one. Thanks so much for being a subscriber. And I wish you the best of luck. Ciao, ciao.